You've been consorting with Wook Lamott. No matter. I do not know what you are scheming, but when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power. Perhaps... And yet, knowing the love that Wook Lamarck bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. I know you're loath to consider it, but is there no hope for peace with Tuliolo? What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. <laughs> I slew my only flesh and blood. Yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. The memory of my father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved nothing. To kill them is my only recourse, Wuklamat and Kona, who bested him as he was in his prime. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. I am bound to no one. Serve none save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, Cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. <sighs> Uklamot, if you are father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. What now? <laughs>